there, it's Darwin Wiggett from Upamu. We're going to look at how you can use live view on your camera and your tilt shift lens to get the precise amount of tilt needed to match the subject plane and the plane of focus. So let's turn on live view on our camera. Now live view is on. Uh, you can figure out how to turn on live view on your own camera if you have it by looking at your instruction manual. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that we have grid lines on our LCD and we've got grid lines on here and we're going to focus at the one-third point on the grid line so really just pick a point along here often we'll find a point of fairly good contrast there's some contrast in this little section magnify to 5x obviously it's not in focus right now then you can get precise focus just remember on these tilt shift lenses are manual focus so there's precise focus now the key to get the correct amount of tilt to match the subject plane is to go to the background I always go to the background first and then I tilt the lens into the subject plane. So I'm tilting the lens down so that you can see it's out of focus there, out of focus there. So right about there looks like good focus. And I'm using tilt and then I lock the lens. Now I'm going to go to the foreground and in the foreground I'm going to readjust the focus. Just needs a tiny bit of readjustment there and you can see I've got precise focus on the foreground. So remember, foreground you always focus, background you're going to, to uh, tilt. Or if you want, you can say background bend. You know, bending is like tilting. So I'm going to background bend or a little bit of adjustment on the tilt here, a tiny little bit now. Each time you go to the background, it'll require less adjustment. Now to the foreground and a tiny bit of focus adjustment. We're getting really close now. Back to the background, double check that the tilt's still in. And it looks pretty good. I might just try a little rocker here, but really I think we've got it. Back to the foreground. And that's still in focus, it looks like. And then if you want, you can double check in 10x to make sure the background, or foreground and the background are precisely in focus. And it looks like we've got everything in. Now the last thing that we can show you here is that that is the amount of focus we have at 3.5. This lens is wide open, so we've got everything tack sharp from foreground to background, even at 3.5. Often then I'll just change my lens to f8, not because of depth of field requirements, but simply because I will get the best performance, the best optical performance from this lens at f8. So now I can take the picture, and I've, I've got a winning corrugated steel picture. Fantastic. That's how we use tilt and live view in conjunction to match the uh, plane of focus in the subject plane.